All right, here we go with two of the best lightweights in the world, Charles Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. Charles Oliveira, the most accomplished finisher in UFC history. The title defenses are starting to mount up. Gaethje believes he has made the adjustments, and we'll see if he can get his hand raised here tonight. If anybody can make those adjustments, it's Trevor Whitman yeah. and Justin Gaethje. They're going to go back in the lab, and they're going to watch that fight a hundred times and find the route to victory. That's a very honorable thing to do. Unfortunately, in Charles Oliveira, it doesn't seem like there's a clear path to beating this man. He possesses all the skills. He's a very good fighter. He's tremendous, and his mentality is what truly is making him become this world beater that we have seen in his last performances. So more output, at least in the early going. Oliveira's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, big in there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. He can't get shot like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Go to the head there by Gage. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Immediately gets the underhook. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Oliveira. Big lead. Just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's going to be I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll with the punches. We talk a lot about his legendary chin, but maybe he doesn't get enough credit for the striking defense and his ability to move that head off the center line. 45 seconds. He's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh. Five minutes in oh. the books. Heading back to the corner now. Oliveira's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. All right, folks, here we go. Round two. Charles Bronx Oliver Ready. versus Justin Gaethje. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, at this point, you got to think he's got to start to mix things up a bit more. At this point, he's worked the head to great effect, but get some strikes to the midsection. Try to slow your opponent down. Man, how many leg kicks can I mean, I think this is it. If he takes many more of these kicks, his night is going to be over. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Gaethje. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, big head kick there. 
man, it ain't to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken <laughs> With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. He played the winner by knockout, Charles the Bronx.